Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to some more Pokemon Violet. In the last one, we took on our first gym leader against the, the baking lady who had the bug type Pokemon. Then we made our way over onto this new route where we were instantly bombarded with a whole bunch of new Pokemon to catch. You can see we're surrounded by Gastlies. We haven't caught a Gast yet, um, but that's probably going to be one of the things we try and catch here in a second. I do want to change up our team a little bit because we finally evolved Spy Tops and that appears to be his last form. Um, so I don't really like what he looks like. Where is your held item at? Okay, it would show right there. Okay, we did take your held item. It was a little unclear to me whether we took it or not. So, a few Pokemon that I'm interested in using is Shrewdle. And the new thing that we just got, this Flittle. The Flittle's already a pretty high level. Oh, I'm also kind of interested in Gimme Ghoul and uh, Mastiff. Maybe Lechonk, but I don't know what it evolves into. But yeah, that's what we're looking at right now. And then we... Bond Suite's not new to this game, I don't think. I've never used it, but we do have a cool Bond Suite because it's a fire terrestrialite or terrestrialization. I guess we could also maybe use this thing, but I think we're going to put Shrudel in for now. It would give us a... Well, I guess we already have Wooper for a poison type, but since that other thing that I'm interested in is already such a high level, we probably won't get very much XP for it anyways right now. So we'll go ahead and try Shrudel. Were you an okay nature? Uh, I don't know if you're a physical or special attacker, so I'm just going to assume that's fine for now. Alright, let's catch us a Ghastly, I think. We also got Rufflets, we got Metatites. It just changed to nighttime, so I feel like we are seeing a whole bunch of new stuff. Oh, these things are strong, too. Ah, oh, we flinched him. Give me a great ball because I don't want this thing to wail on me. Okay, Shrudel's just gonna like launch up in XP. He wants to learn Fury Swipes? Okay, he seems like a physical Pokemon. He's learning a lot of physical moves. Is Ghastly any good? Uh, it's neutral. See, this has EVs as well, I think. I, I'm still assuming those are EVs, but maybe they're not. But maybe wild Pokemon just have EVs now. Could be good or bad depending on uh, how much you want to EV train a wild Pokemon instead of breeding for it first. So why is everything here so strong though? Like just across the way everything was nowhere near powerful enough to fight us. Even the rock roughs around this area were like level 9. But these things are like level 20. It seems like there's a cap to how much XP you can get though, because I think Shrudel's only getting as much XP as some of our other members right now. Okay, what else is new? Rufflet. Oh, I probably shouldn't have gone in with my grass cat, but that's how it goes. Oh wow, you're strong. We get a flinch here, maybe? That's not good. I might die. 
but at least I could maybe get in one more hit. We might have to go back to the Pokemon Center. Okay, I'm dead. Is this not the way we're supposed to be going, or like, what happened? Maybe this pat this is like the third gym leader that we're going towards? Because it seems like the difficulty just spiked up as we got into this direction. Okay, but he'll get gooeyed if he hits my Wiglet. Uh-oh. We can get one more water gun in. Alright, bye Wiglet. Okay, this thing's just gonna start one-shotting everything now. But if we catch him with Shrewdle out, then Shrewdle will get a bunch of XP, hopefully. Yeah, Shrewdle just got like 600 XP. Switcheroo. What does Switcheroo do? Uh, trades held items. Okay, I don't think we need that. What is ask for advice? You want me to get rid of bite for switcheroo? No. That was some of the worst advice I've ever gotten. Pokeball up there. Can I get up there? Yes. Okay, so what else do we got around here? So that's where we came from, right? Hello, guys. So I think we caught everything. Oh, we didn't catch you yet. This could do. Might be a little bit hard to catch. Uh, Wooper can maybe do it. What level are you guys? 19? That's not good. I did absolutely nothing. Okay, well, he does way too much damage. That was a crit? That was not a crit, that did like nothing. You changed my water absorb? I guess it doesn't really matter. Man, this sucks. Oh my god. He's actually leech seed stalling me. Okay, 
we need to go back to a Pokemon Center. Oh, wow, you just do that much damage, huh? Alright, well... You know how he was tanking everything, I felt like... Flamigo wouldn't just be able to nearly one-shot him, but apparently Flamigo just kills everything. <coughs> oh my god. Are you kidding me? Is everyone just gonna Leech Seed stall me? I'm just using an Ultra Ball. Get out of my face. Poison Fang. Yeah, I'm starting to think he's a physical attacker. <laughs> uh... Take a look at you. Yeah, this is bad. This is really bad. So this Shrewdle is just not gonna work. Let's fly back to the Pokemon Center. What else is around here? What the heck are you? We need to find that dude. Um, but first we gotta heal because we are very dead. Yeah, Shrewdle's not. This Shrewdle at least is not gonna work. He's obviously supposed to be a physical attacker, and he's got an attack down nature. So, boxes. Of the other things to use... Again, this thing's already so high level that I don't think it's quite worth it to put it in the party right now. I don't know if this guy evolves or not. back LeChonk as well. Let's bring in you right now. And then let's get back over there and go catch some more stuff. And then, I don't know if we're going the wrong direction, because like I said, it seems like the, the levels just popped up as we went across this little land bridge. Okay, didn't pick up that item apparently. Okay, let's catch this. Pokeball should hopefully be good enough here. Nope. Didn't even shake once. Okay. I guess we'll use a Great Ball because the normal Pokeball is not even shaking. Oh, 
All right, Great Ball's also not working. It's just a mischievous. Like, I literally don't even care about you. Just get in the stupid Pokeball. Oh my goodness. You can't tell me mischievous has this low of a catch rate. I don't believe you. Oh, come on. This is like why Pokemon games become not fun, right? Because it's like, why am I wasting all these Pokeballs on this random mischievous that I have no intention of using? And it's at the lowest health I could get it to without killing it. Yet it still won't be caught. No, I don't really want that. <coughs> Get out of here, mischievous. Alright, I want Pommy back out because he can at least paralyze people. Make it a little bit easier to catch him. What else do we got going on around here? We're still looking for this guy, and we need another fan fee, and apparently Pomos can be caught around here as, too, as well. Oh, fan fee's up here. Also, that wasn't a shiny ghastly, right? No, I don't think you're a shiny ghastly. Oh, you... I just realized I brought in Pomo versus that guy. Usually Pomo would work, but in this case I cannot paralyze you. So... Please don't die. I don't want to waste any more of my Great Balls right now. Except if it's on like that cool guy that we saw on the map. Oh, come on. And even then I might try and catch him in a regular Pokeball just because... I like regular Pokeballs more. Yeah, you should probably learn Bite. That's a pretty good move. I'll get rid of Thundershock. We're not really using Thundershock for much. So, I mean, we saw that one thing where... There was that Dawn fan look at Pokemon. But maybe it was a Titan, so I don't know if Dawn fan actually evolves into that or if it, that was just a special one. Okay, where am I now? This is not really the way I wanted to end up going, but. How do I get up here? What the? I went a totally different way than I thought I was going. What is that? That's a skidoo, right? Yeah. But where is this cool dude? You're a Meditite, right? Yeah. The bunch of Toxels around here now. How am I walking the wrong way? Because north is this way. Okay. I got turned around. <laughs> I, I kept walking the opposite direction of where I was trying to go. Can I climb this? 
Oh, not really. Oh, almost made it. Oh, is that a slagoo down there? Clepsy berry. What is that thing? Oh, that's a choodle. Uh oh. He's on to me. Oh, you, right, you're Goomy right now. I forget, is his second form Slagoo, and then his last form is Goo Dragon or something like that? I don't remember how you work. Wow, that hurt a lot for being a water type mode. Okay, we'll try and flinch and paralyze you. Double trouble here. We just need Serene Grace. Ouch. Okay, this is probably gonna have a low catch rate, so I'm gonna go with a Great Ball. We just get Goomy Goo from him? That's kind of funny. Alright, so we're trying to go north. We've caught lots of stuff around here now. Okay. This is where I wanted to go, yes. I wanted to go down this path. Okay, there's an item all the way at the end of this. Where does this go? I don't think there's any coming back if I go down this, is there? Uh oh! Almost fell off a cliff. Got a quick ball. Yeah, I don't think we can get back though. Um. That may have been a mistake. Oh, we made it. Okay, there's a rock rough here. We got Encore. Oh, I see you. I don't think you can hide from me. Okay, so now we're looking for this weird red dude. I don't know what he is, but I think he's a new Pokemon. But he should be, like, all around here. So I think we should go back this way again. Explore this little mountain that we were actually accidentally on earlier. Ice. Is this what I was always going for? Because it looks like it's marked, but wasn't it over here before? So did it move? But it kept it marked? That's kind of weird. Okay, how do I get where I'm going? That's a Scyther. I'm getting all kinds of turned around over and over. Okay, so the way to the trainer is not the way I want to go right now. I want to go this way. 
There's a group of roughly. It occurs to me that I could probably be auto battling right now, huh? Beat him up. Oh, he's out of energy. Um, I would like to heal you. We have 50 potions. I haven't even bought a single potion, by the way. Okay, so we're gonna do some auto-battling. Hey, you're supposed to run at the- Gosh dang it, you actually got me run into because you were running the wrong way? You jerk. What? Why did that hit so hard? Again, I'm still considering that we're in the wrong area, but we will forcibly level ourselves up to the level of this if. Are you kidding me? Why does this random wild Pokemon one-shot everything I have? Like, this is absurd. Please don't miss. Why wow, that did nothing. I just wanted to kill this thing, but it's not possible to kill this thing. It's too tanky. And it does too much damage, and it's never been paralyzed a single time, apparently. Oh my god, I got paralyzed. It's still gonna kill me, though. I guess I need to go back to the Pokemon Center again, because he killed all my Pokemon. Because he just one-shots them. Yeah, this is pretty annoying. Like, why is this Rufflet so strong? Isn't it because Rufflet's supposed to be a late-game Pokemon in the game that he came out in? So you wouldn't actually see a Rufflet ever, you'd only see, like, the later forms. And so seeing a Rufflet this early in the game, his stats weren't balanced for him to be an early game. So he just does too much damage against low-level Pokemon. Is that the problem here? Sure seems like the problem. What do you have? You're better at regular attack. But I guess we'll keep Snarl for now. Okay, we need to get out of here. This... We'll come back in a second. There's also supposedly a Dunsparce around here. Yeah, I feel like we're kind of forcibly leveling through this. Maybe we shouldn't have gone this way. Because if the other direction is a lot weaker, then it's going to be unfortunate when we actually do go that direction. But, like, it's so hard to tell, right? Because this way was literally earlier than the other way. So, like, how am I possibly supposed to judge that I'm supposed to go to the the fork in the road that we encountered later on and not the fork in the road that we encountered earlier on? I mean, that's always the problem with making an open world game. If you don't... If you don't make a scale to the level of whatever the player is, and you give too many choices, but some of the choices are, like, technically feasible, then the player could just go towards the technically feasible one and die a lot. Wow, you actually just refuse to fight them, huh? What are you doing? Fight them! Please don't fight the Fanfy. 
Oh my god. Why did you fight the Fanfi? Okay. No, don't fight the Fanfi. Oh, Jesus. Alright. Alright, let's start running this way. We'll heal you up with potions. And it'll be all okay. Auto heal. It doesn't even tell you what to use to auto heal him? I guess that's why they give you so many potions. Because otherwise, that would be a little obnoxious. Can I climb this thing? How did I get so far up the first time? There we go. Rock Tomb. Okay, there's a there's a prime ape over there. You're level thirty. All right. No, thank you. So is that that other dude? He's still on our map. We still haven't seen a single one of him though. Okay, we're kind of going backwards now because. Oh, it's a it's a pomo with a bunch of pommies. That's cute. Oh, we can't get back up that. I should try and jump this, but I don't think it'll be possible. No. Hmm. I mean, we've seen a lot of Pokemon, but I still don't see that guy that we're looking for. Climb on top of this, right? I don't think so. Oh, maybe we can't. There we go. Body press. Alright, well, I didn't find him this direction at all. Guess we'll have to keep looking. As we start to continue through the area. So, this way, where the trainer is. Let's bring out someone else for a little bit. Wiglet's just so weak. Oh, not like that. Is it because your nature is bad? Yeah, your nature is wrong. So I don't think you're getting... You're not supposed to be a special attacker. So I don't know how long Wiglet's gonna live in our party for. <clears throat> I mean, Wooper's kinda cool, but he just doesn't do any damage. So far, I feel like these two are the only ones who are, like, actually gonna stay in the party. Depending on what Pomo looks like in his final form. I still don't know about Flamigo. I kind of want Flamigo to evolve. Is it me or are the Pokemon around here way too strong? We should probably turn back, huh? See, he knows. He's self-aware. But I'm... Not gonna turn around. I feel like if you made it this far. I mean, I guess it's not that far, but I went down all the side paths before this. He is clearly telling me that I should probably turn around. 
But like, they're not too strong anymore, right? Now I'm at the same level as them, mostly. Now I'm also pretty determined to find that Pokemon that it's on our map that we can't find, because I kind of want him in our party. Or at least I want to know what type of Pokemon it is. If it's another fighting type, we probably can't fit it in our party. Oh, there's a Shrewdle. This would be a good chance to get another Shrewdle, maybe. Should have sent out Pommy first, I think. We'll just hope he doesn't poison us. Oh, we flinched him. It did the critical catch thing. It like shook in midair and then it caught it after one shake. At least right now, while our team is kind of in flux, we can we can level up random stuff. Okay, this guy is a better nature. This guy we can use. I think he's going in our party right away. Problem is, whose spot is he taking? Because I kind of wanted to keep leveling up Mastiff. I just don't know if Wiglet's going to evolve or not. <laughs> Like, if he is similar to Diglett, then he should evolve, right? But... And I don't know if Flamigo's gonna evolve. I guess Mass Mastiff will go for now. Okay, so now we got a good Shrewdle. I'm going to save just because we caught such a good Shrewdle, actually. Also, which is his, uh, Terra type? Oh, he got normal? That feels like the, the bad one, right? Out of those two options? But he's such a good nature, I feel like he'll be useful either way. Maybe you could change him later on? A Deerling. We don't have Deerling yet. Oh, hold on. Oh, Pomo? Also, is that uh, the evolution of Fletchling down there? Or is that something else? Oh, it's faster that way. But it won't be after this. Okay, we're just trying to flinch para him right now. Wow, I hate you. That's like the one move he needed to force me to switch out. Okay, well let's switch to a Pokemon that can't get, um... Bleed Seated. Ow. Um, I guess I'll hit you with a um, quick attack. Okay, I probably could have gone for a bite. I don't want it to kill itself with another takedown, though. Also, I wonder if something like Deerling has a new evolution. We saw that Primeape earlier. I don't know if I mentioned, but I I thought that I saw there's a new... This is a new bird. 
that we don't know about. Is it the evolution of... Yeah, I think it's just the evolution of um, Fletchling. But yeah, I think Primeape has a new evolution. Okay, luckily Nuzzle is such a low damage move. I don't think it should ever kill. Okay. Um, just one shot my pommel. Is that that's supposed to be okay? I guess he probably doesn't have an item. How is he still faster than me while he's paralyzed, by the way? Oh, it's a speed tie right now? Oh my goodness. This guy's got everything. turn around again. Even though that trainer told me I should permanently turn around and come back later, I feel like I'm just gonna go heal and come back. I, I hate that my Pomo keeps getting, like, murdered. Like, how's I supposed to know he's gonna get one shot by an acrobatics? Like, that's absurd. Is this thing, like, adamant or something? This doesn't even have an up attack nature. How did it do so much damage? And how was it so fast? It's got a down speed nature. It was paralyzed with a down speed nature. And it destroyed me. Okay, so what's the correct way here? There's a... What? There's like a weird tentacle form. Okay, so I'm gonna try and explore, I think, this area before we turn around. And, um... And, uh, uh, go heal. You're a Maskiff. Is that Staravia too strong? The other Staravia we saw was too strong. That one's not necessarily too strong, but I want to fight it. I don't have a lot against flying, especially with Pomo dead. I don't see the tentacle. How do we get up there? I don't think getting up there from this side is an option. We would have to go... I don't even know if we could get up from this side. I don't know how you're supposed to get up there. Again, it seems like there's some places that we just can't reach right now. We need like some ability to fly or something. Ooh, a Dunsparce. Oh, he sees me. What? What do you mean? I hit him in the face with the Pokeball. And then he disappeared. <laughs> okay, maybe don't die in one hit, but there's plenty of you around here, so... You have ancient power. Okay, at least he didn't get all of his stats up. Oh my gosh. That's obnoxious. Wiglet wants to learn Slam. Actually, no, because you have a down attack nature. You Water Pulse? Yeah, okay. That's fine. Just a better water gun, right? This is gonna kill, isn't it? Oh, it didn't kill.
Nice. Omega's getting so much XP right now. Slash. That's actually pretty good, especially with your normal Terra type. What do we got? Switcheroo. Oh. Ladder is like a worse swagger almost. Because the, the benefit to swagger boosting their attack is they also hurt themselves more when they actually get confused. But I guess then you can use that instead of... Also, does Dunsparce have an evolution in this game? I think it might. Um, see, he's got... There's a spot for one in there on the Pokedex, so maybe. Oh, Wooper's evolving. Um, but yeah, you could use it on a Pokemon that you know is not going to use any special moves, I guess. What the heck are you, Claude Sire? Wait, so he gets a different name? What the heck? He's like a, a Whalmer or something. It lives at the bottom of ponds and swamps. It can carry Wooper on its back and ferry them across water from one shore to the other. He wants to learn Amnesia. Probably not very good considering your nature. Oh, he's a special defender, but he's had special defense down this whole time. That's not great. I don't really know what to make of you right now. You're kind of bad. I thought your nature would be okay, but now I realize it's not good. What is your advice? You want to forget Toxic Spike? I don't think that's the right call at all. I think we get rid of Slam. So I don't think you're going to be doing that much damage. Is that a Lechonk over there? Nightshade. What is that? It's like a... Freaking koala. What could I bring in? I mean, Claude Sire maybe can tank now? What are you? Oh, do I know this guy? I think I know this guy. Yeah. He's not actually new. Oh, right. Rapid spin makes you gain speed now. Take that, you fiend. Oh, wow. He's hitting my tank so hard. I mean, I like what this guy looks like. He's just a bad nature, right? Because he's supposed to be a special defender, but... I guess he still has water absorb, which is really valuable. Yawn? Get out of here, you nerd. I guess this way, if he rapid spins, he'll just gooey himself. That might just kill me. Okay, it missed. Uh, I probably can't do anything here. Go for the Great Ball, I guess, because you're kind of not that low on health. Hmm. Oh, come on. I might let my Wiglet fall asleep, because I feel like he's going to die. Okay, never mind. He just got a lot of XP. I don't even know what this guy's supposed to do. I assume he evolves into something? He's got... 
I guess what amounts to probably a neutral nature, the Pokemon is always drowsy and will never wake up. It can attack while in its sleeping state. What? What does that functionally do, though? Does it make it so he can't be status or something? I don't know what function that serves. I've never actually used that Pokemon. There's a lot of Pokemon over there. So we never found that guy that I was looking for. That's a shame. I mean, we'll go back and look for him, I think. Because he looked really cool. Omegberry. Oh, it's a Basculin? Is that what you're called? There's blue ones and red ones here. Do I have anything? Like, what am I fighting you with? Oh yeah, you probably can't hit me, hopefully. Hopefully you can't deal with Water Absorb. He's a physical attacker, though. Does he know I have Water Absorb, or what's happening here? I really do like when this guy attacks, how these little spikes come out. Kind of cool. Like, they're like cute spikes, right? Because they're not like that sharp. They're like rubbery looking spikes and they kind of like... Uh, bounce back and forth as they come out. Okay, we could hopefully catch you with a regular Pokeball. Oh, come on. Yes, heal me. Oh, I hate you. So why did he spam Scary Face 15 times in a row if he had two moves that could hit me? Also, this is apparently not working, so I guess I'll switch to a Great Ball. Okay. Worked even less. Oh, at least he healed me again. Oh my goodness, how is a basic fish type impossible to catch? Like, there's nothing special about you. I'm not gonna use you ever. You have no health, so I should be able to catch you in a single regular Pokeball, but it is not working. What about a netball? I don't want to waste the netball on a basic fish, though. I want to use it on something slightly better. Oh my god. I'm so done with you. <gasps> How are you impossible to catch? It doesn't make any sense. Come on, man! This literally makes zero sense. You are at red health. You have the maximum catch rate possible right now. Oh my god, what a waste of resources and time. So annoying. Oh, he wants to learn Yawn? Sure. We might take this Quagsire with us to the end of the game. Do I get rid of Mudshot? Are we ever going to use Toxic Swag? I don't know, get rid of Tackle. Tackle's kind of his bread and butter move right now, but whatever. Oh my god, we just wasted so many Pokeballs on that useless thing. 
Does that thing not even evolve? Oh, there's a hat, hat now or whatever. I guess just keep using Claude's. Oh, actually, you're, you're psychic type. That's not a good idea. Let's save as well. Okay, please don't kill it. I don't think you're strong enough to kill it, but... I actually kind of expected him to hit it harder. Though he's even weaker than I thought. Oh my goodness. Alright, well I guess we can just water pulls again. Just don't kill yourself here. Is that a critical catch? Yes. I don't know what the benefit of a critical catch does. I don't think it does anything, right? So there's a trainer down there. Supposedly this weird form of tentacle is somewhere. I don't know if it's a land tentacle. There's a skit. Oh, those are deerling. Oh, wait, there's a... We can finally get this Pachirisu. This was from one of the early episodes we found a Pachirisu, but we couldn't... Or, like, we never found it again. We saw it walking around and it ran off while we were fighting something else, and then... Disappeared. Ooh, and Durr makes it so this won't kill no matter what. Nice. What is that? Is that a Lechonk next to that Pokeball? Kind of hard to tell. Okay, so there's a Pokeball right there if I wanted to jump. We might do after I finish walking around this area. You're just a Lechonk. Did I battle that trainer already? I don't think I did, right? There's a Meryl. Should I bother catching the Meryl? Do I have, uh, yep, I have Claude Sire out. Wait, what is that thing? I see next to Dunsparce in the background, there's like some flying dragon thing. I need it. We gotta run over there and figure out what that is. Oh, how nice of you. Claude Sire's running out of mud bombs here. I like that wild Pokemon have no strategy, so even once they know you have water absorbed, they'll just keep hitting you with water type moves.
Okay, let's go see if we can find what that was. That goes on the other side of this water? Could have gone anywhere in that amount of time, though. That's a Toxel. I mean, I guess it could have been the ears of this thing, but I don't think it was. It's a whooper. I swear it looked like a like a almost like a dragonfly, but more like a dragon than a dragonfly. How did we miss this Pokeball? There's a rufflet. Those guys like to beat me up. I don't know. I don't know what that was, if I was just seeing things. Oh, I just noticed. You look different than you over here. Oh, I know you don't. I thought he had a long tail. He didn't have a long tail. Do I even have anything that can fight here? I want to see the cute little Pokemon you've got with you. Is her name Isona? That's an interesting name. Uh oh. This doesn't seem like a very good matchup. Uh, goodbye? don't think that will affect the battle. Let's get some Toxic Spikes going. I should have amnesia it up. First. This is what we're doing, huh? I'm just gonna max amnesia then. Max toxic spikes you, and then hit you with mud bombs, hopefully until you die. Sleep powder. Oh, I avoided it. What if I yawn? You can only have three layers of hazards, right? Or at least of spikes and toxic spikes. I'm only doing it this way because I don't have a good Pokemon to fight. Oh, you can only have two layers of toxic spikes? Okay. I don't know if we have enough moves to actually kill this thing. Oh, now he's putting me to sleep. Well, this is gonna be an exciting battle, let me tell you. And now he's healing himself up a little bit. Yeah, I don't think we got enough moves to kill you then. Not since you have Mega Drain. Unless we get a crit. Or a few crits. Oh my gosh, am I... Really been asleep for three turns now? He was literally asleep for one turn, and I'm asleep for three turns. Like, what is this garbage?
Are you serious? Oh my goodness. Oh, I guess now's the best time to switch, probably. Because he definitely can't wake up on this turn. Really? I spent all that time setting up those toxic spikes? And you send out a flying Pokemon? Aw, oh, what cuties. There are so many kinds of Pokemon and they're so cute. Okay. Well, let's, let's do another quick sweep of... That guy's trying to attack me. Let's do another quick sweep of this area. See if I can figure out... Oh, there's a Murkrow here. Hello? It wouldn't lock on to him for some reason. Like that, Murkrow's usually fairly tanky. Now that it's nighttime, there might be new things again. Maybe that's why we couldn't find that one guy? It wasn't nighttime, but... I don't think it was the Fletchling that I saw. So what the heck did I see? Are Starlies. Well, unfortunately, we murdered that Murkrow. But. It's not that big a deal, I suppose. There's another Mistrevious, huh? Okay, well, I can't find anything here at the moment. Oh, there's. What? What? A, see, that? that's the thing that I saw. This thing. It was flying around, I saw it. That guy's uh, from Sword and Shield though, but I still want it. I like him, he's cool. Oh, I thought that was him, that's a Scyther. I already have a Scyther. So where is it then? Is it down below? Because I saw it up here for sure. Oh! <laughs> Didn't know the Scyther was just gonna follow me that far. Well, I mean, I guess we're gonna go back and heal, and I guess we'll come back over here. Oh, there's the Murkrow. Is that a Murkrow? Yeah, it is. But what do I fight it with that won't murder it? You? Why does it look like he has glasses? Gus doesn't count as a contact move? Oh, 
Gosh dang it, Murkrow. I don't have time to deal with you. I just had an idea of what we should do before we teleport back to the Pokemon Center. We're gonna jump off that cliff, get that TM, and then maybe the dragon dude like slid off the cliff or whatever, and he's down there. Murkrow acquired. U-turn? Wait, who's learning U-turn? Oh, that seems pretty good. Yeah, that's way better than uh, Magical Leaf. Get out of here, LeChonk. So, let's go do what I said we were gonna do. So I don't see him up here. Oh, is that him? That's him, I think. Yeah, it is. Catch him! He's so fast! I like the balloons that they put you on. Okay, he should be resistant to water. I don't know if he's part flying type, though. Okay, he just crit me to death. Guess it doesn't matter anymore. I was going to try and hit him with a mud slap, but... He just crits me to death like that. I don't even know what I can hit this guy with. Without killing him. Quick attack, probably. Oh, I'm also burned, so I guess I probably could have used anything. Oh, he's Ghost Dragon. Okay. Okay, so I should be careful using Bite then. But I'm burned. There's no way Bite kills, right? Such an awkward situation. I guess you turning out is probably my best move anyways. But it just doesn't do any damage. I might kill all my Pokemon before I can actually weaken him, because my Quad Sire is asleep. Oh, this guy doesn't need a balloon. That's cool. Oh, cool. That's probably the guy I needed not to be taking percent damage per turn. So that's real sweet. I don't know what to do, like... Oh, he can't be switched out because he's infested? Alright, well, I'm just going to throw Ultra Balls. He didn't get confused a single time, huh? That is really loud as well. It's not even close. And there's nothing I can do about it, it's the stupid thing. There we go. Well, we wasted a whole bunch of Ultra Balls on it. On a Pokemon that we're not even gonna use, but... That's how it goes, I suppose. It has a habit of biting at Clauncher, even though it doesn't feed on them. This is said to be vestigial behavior for when Dreepy was alive. It's not alive? Is this guy any good? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, probably a positive nature overall, because he's probably not trying to tank anything anyways. Pokemon's moves are unaffected by targets, barriers, substitutes, and the like. It'll be nice to at least have. Probably won't be using him, but... Oh! Okay, but I could be in this with my motorcycle. Whatever. Okay, we're gonna go jump off this cliff over here. Get that Pokeball, we're gonna teleport back to the Pokemon Center, and then we'll have to come back and... We still haven't made that much progress. Toxic Spikes. Cool. Not like we don't already have that. Oh, Riolu. So they can fall off the cliff. That Riolu just fell off the cliff. This is there is a conglomeration of young gooses and a whole bunch of other stuff over here. Dusk balls. I know I shouldn't keep exploring, but I feel like I'm so close to where that tentacruel, tentacool thing was supposed to be. I feel like it's gotta be like over at this pond or something. There's a scyther. Oh, a Chansey! It's running away. Oh. God, I wish everything wasn't dead. I'll auto-heal you. I'll auto-heal you. Does it cure your burn? It does not. Okay, where'd that Chansey go? Wait, right, where did the Chansey go? How does a Chansey just disappear? It's freaking giant. Okay, we can't get up this. Hey, okay, where the heck? Is, is it like if they get too far away, then they despawn? I should have just gone for it immediately, huh? I didn't know it would run away, honestly, though. Oh, we can finally get a hound door. Uh, he's kind of low level. He hopefully doesn't get one shot. Okay, well. I don't know what to use against you. I don't have a Pokemon that can fight you without killing you or die to you. Ugh, oh, it's so obnoxious. Hmm, maybe I do this? That did not do enough damage. Oh my god, how? How is that possible? You're cheating! And how did Roar not work? I needed Roar to actually work there. Oh my god, they're actually cheating. Okay, we need more Pokeballs. Badly. I've already... What? You could spawn inside me? Kind of garbage. Can I run away from you? You're pretty low level. Okay. Did we ever figure out what happened to the Chansey? No. Chansey is dead.
I mean, it says the tentacle thing is around here as well. I should probably stop looking. Like, we could get this stuff later. What the heck is that Magikarp doing? What are you? Uh, what? I can't look at you? Okay, I guess I'll just run into you then. Oh, there's two of you. I was kind of confused. Oh, the other one's a Floet, right? This is gonna kill you though, isn't it? Wait, so why are we in a lower level zone now? This zone was only reachable... I guess we could have gone, like, north first, then gone south? To come to this area the other way? It's just not that logical. Also, this burn is hurting a lot. Is that another Chansey? No, that's... Keep getting that tarantula thing confused with uh, Chansey. There's just too much to do. I can't find anywhere to actually stop. Maybe I, I, oh, no, I don't want to add you to the party's art. Now, was it a Floet or a Flabebe that I needed to trade that guy for the Snom? How did I run into you? The hitboxes while you're on the bike are incredibly broken. There's no way this kills while I'm burned, right? Trying to get another one because I think it was a Flabebe, and that way I still have one. And I don't know if that's the Floet back there. Oh, critical catch? Nice. Mm, we've been going so long as well that, like, Amo has missed out on so much XP. Okay, where'd the Floet go? Did it really move out of range right then and disappear? So that guy, that Toxel is huge compared to the other Toxels. I think. Either that or I'm stupid. Can't tell the difference. I guess that thing got away, but I guess we can always evolve one of the ones that we got. Okay, I need to stop. <laughs> but I just keep... I found you! You fell off the cliff, you nerd! Okay, there's no way bite kills here, right? Because it's not very effective, I'm burned, and it's not stabbed. Okay, yeah, but it did a little bit less damage than I wanted it to. <laughs> Give me another one, please. So few Pokeballs left. Do I go for that Terra Pokemon? Oh no, don't do this to me. Not like this. I want to go for the Terra Pokemon because I don't know if they despawn. Because we're going to fly back, which would reload the area, probably. Oh, whoops. There was something making noise behind me. Is it you guys? I 
just want this item. Thank you. What are you? Oh, it's a... The Sligoo. I don't know what level it is, though. That could be a problem. It's level 30. Alright, we're not doing that. We'll be back for you another time. Which reminds me, we could probably go back for that Vespa Quen now. Whoa! You're just right on top of this Pokeball here? Ow! Oh. I hate the hitbox on the motorcycle. I don't know what that item was. Ice Fang. That's pretty good. We could already craft that, I think, but... I mean... Technically, we could craft it. I didn't actually have the materials to craft it. Oh my gosh, how? This one just never ends because I just can't stop exploring. I have a problem. It's just cool new stuff around every single corner. Is this a different deerling? No. Same deerling. What are you? Oh, you're those... You're those tad bulbs. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, hold up. Heal you. Do I have a burn heal? I guess I have a berry that could do it. Oh, there's a burn heal. Oh wait, you could just swap items like this? Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't even know you could press that button. It's not one of the buttons that shows up at the bottom. Okay, Tadpole, get him. Is that Meryl just at the bottom of the ocean over there? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh no, oh, we're at a very awkward angle. Okay, um, don't die, please. Hmm, you see, that's an awkward situation. We gotta go for a quick attack, I guess. Oh, is that an evolution of Tad Bulb over there? He, or is he just bigger? I think he's just bigger. Okay, we got him. What are? Cause you seem like you're electric type. Are you, are you also water? Like, what are we talking about here? Okay, you're just electric at least right now. Are you any good? You've got pretty much a neutral nature. Own tempo. Huh. He's probably usable. We'll definitely keep him on the list. I, I like electric types. Although he looks kind of goofy at the moment. Looks like he has maybe one evolution. Oh good, we get his mucus. Delicious. Can we get that guy at the bottom of the ocean here? Arrowcuda. That was a lot of damage. Hopefully this quick attack doesn't kill. Nice. Okay, we really need to go back. <laughs> Just having too much fun. Just adventuring, seeing all the Pokemon. We probably have a lot of Pokedex uh, rewards as well. 
Okay, but the one thing I can't forget before we wrap up here is I need to go trade for that Snom. Can I walk up this? No, I'm gonna need my bike. Alright, let's circle this pool. I'm not gonna fight that trainer right now. We'll just have to come back here, I guess. I don't know. Am I gonna come back here? Probably not anytime soon, but... Probably at some point, I will. Oh, there's a Pokeball. Rare Bone. Oh, we could go down to the beach here? Hold up. I guess I should investigate this. Because this is not a big area, it's very small. Dive ball. Okay, some of you guys. The XP candy. Still not seeing this tentacle anywhere that's. Is it. Th what are you? You're a freaking dolphin! Uh. I guess we're not catching you off guard. Benizen? I don't think I know you. You seem like a new Pokemon. That was a crit. Actually, I kind of like his color scheme with, um... A dive ball. In or on the water. Yeah, we're gonna put him in a dive ball. Sometimes I like catching specific Pokemon with specific types of ball. I feel like he fits the dive ball very well. So that's, that seems like a cool water type. I like what he looks like. He's like a cute dolphin. Uh, you're a neutral nature, so you'll probably be fine. Your water veil prevents it from being burned. Not really the greatest thing ever. We might use him. He he could very easily replace uh, Wiglet. What's out there? Oh, more of them. Oh, there's a love disc, but I don't think... I don't know if I can reach those guys. We'll try in a second here. Oh, two dive balls. What was that? A herd of Darlies, maybe? What are you? What the heck is this? Oh, I thought he had a really big mouth. He just has yellow under his beak that makes it look like he has a big mouth. Okay, his name is Watrell, though. Yeah, I was thinking maybe he'd be electric flying. Oh, there's a quillfish over there, too. Why is there so much stuff down here? There's a shelter. I don't know what happened to that love disc. The love disc is probably gone for forever now. Okay, are you any good? Uh, that seems not good. This Pokemon becomes charged when it is hit by a wind move, boosting the power of its next electric move. Interesting. Its nature is not great because it makes him slower. But at least we caught him. That might be like the basic bird for this game? Or I don't know, we've seen that... We've seen that weird, like parakeet looking guy which I thought was the basic bird okay currently we are not allowed to enter the water then well I guess we can't get to that I think that's a shelter can't reach him there's another finezin I like that we got the one finezin we'll probably use that instead of wiglet Um, let's go up top. 
Okay, we went way too long today, but that's okay. We had fun. And that's what matters. Alright, let's do a, a quick scan. Oh, there's a Flaffy. Should I bother catching you? What level are you? Level 20. I don't think I'll bother just because I don't have the Pokeballs to do this right now. And we already have a Mareep. So it wouldn't be difficult for us to just evolve our Mareep. Okay, so there's still a few things that we haven't found that are supposedly in this area. So we will be back next time looking for more stuff. And that thing's still a Slagoo that we probably shouldn't fight because it'll kill everyone. It's a herd of deerling. Okay, so I think we got this down area mostly done. We have that trainer to fight, but... Like I said, we'll probably be running past here at least next time again. So that takes care of all the way up till this trainer. Which we can go to next time. And I don't know how to get on top of that mountain, but... That's a job for another day, I suppose. Okay, so Snom... Is that the last thing we're gonna do? I should. I need to stop exploring. I can't stop. Okay, uh, no, that's not the map button. Alright, so we know where we gotta get back to. And somewhere in here is a Pokemon that we're still looking for, right? And then we're still looking for this Tentacool dude. And it says, I think there's more of these Watt birds around here, but... We might try and catch another one, just because uh, the one we have is not that great. Okay, let's fly back, let's go trade for the Snom, heal our Pokemon, buy Pokeballs, and then that'll be it. I'm having a lot of fun. And we should also figure out what's going to change in our party. I might look up if Wiglet has an evolution. Because if he doesn't, then I think he's gone for Finezen. Because Finezen was cool. I'd like to buy all your Pokeballs, please. We almost made all of our money back. Oh, we also have lots of league points, so maybe we should consider using those at some point. Um, it's just give me 10 of these. That's like all my money, but we got to go fight more trainers. I should definitely make sure I go fight that trainer that we skipped because we need money. Okay, now we're going to learn if you can trade... I mean, you should be able to, right? It would make sense that I could trade with someone without having the Pokemon in my inventory now, because you can access your boxes wherever. Wait, were you the Stom guy? No, that's not what I wanted. You're not the Stom guy, I don't think. Where was the Stom guy? Or you're the Stom guy. Or girl, I guess. Nope, I keep talking to their Pokemon. Please. This is not the right person. It's you, isn't it? Yeah, it is you, alright. I, I want to save first. I'm curious if it auto-saves like it does in normal Pokemon games when you trade. Yes. Okay, you do get to use your boxes, it looks like. So where are our Flabebes at? Here. We have an orange one and a blue one. Honestly, I like the blue one more. Though... I think you're... Well, let's check... Let's check their actual stats and natures. This one's a pretty good nature. This one's a pretty bad nature, of course. Of course, the one I like more is a bad nature. But, I'm not gonna use you anyway, so I'm sorry. Orange one, you gotta go, I want Snom. If 
But I thought we were just gonna give him the Pokeball, because we had it in our hand. Seems overly complicated. He's standing right next to us. Hey, oh, oh, his name is Swalsalot? Swalsalot? I actually really like Snarl. I think he's really cool. Wow, it's so small, so cute. The way it rides on that flower, it's just, mmm. When Snob's really ad Oh, whew, Snob's really adorable too, so take good care of it, okay? Wait, so what do you say now? Maybe I'll catch all the different ones. You couldn't even catch a single one. You just traded me your super rare Snom that I don't even know where to get a Snom from. For the Flabebe that you could just like walk down the road and catch. Okay, let's let's look at you. Um So he's Ice Terra type. I feel like you could make Snom pretty good um if he had a different Terra type, right? Because you could completely change his type. He doesn't have to be bug or ice anymore. So if you got a Snom that was like, uh, like ghost or something, maybe all of a sudden he'd be really sweet. But even just making him just ice is probably better than him being bug ice. So that's kind of cool. He's a neutral nature. So we got a few things that we want to consider using the Tad Bulb. The Finezin, the Watrell. I think that's it for now. Is there other stuff? I should really maybe organize these boxes so I have like stuff that I want to use in a specific box. Or like at least new Pokemon in a specific box. But anyways, we're gonna save there because we've been going almost twice as long as normal. Um We'll be back with another one where we go to the same area and then progress past it. And hopefully we'll find those few Pokemon that we missed along the way. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this one. I had a lot of fun, and I will see you in the next one.